I had no idea there were any flowers in the country. Oh, flowers are as common here, Miss Fairfax, as people are in London. May I offer you some tea? Thank you. Sugar? No, thank you. Sugar <laughs> is not fashionable anymore. Cake or bread and butter? Bread and butter, please. Thank you. Cake is rarely seen in the best houses nowadays. Hand that to Miss Fairfax. You have filled my tea with lumps of sugar. And though I most distinctly ask for bread and butter, you have given me cake. I am known for the gentleness of my disposition and the extraordinary sweetness of my nature. But I warn you, Miss Cardew, you, you may go too far. To save my poor, innocent, trusting boy from the machinations of any other girl, there are no lengths to which I would not go. From the moment I saw you, I distrusted you. I felt that you were false and deceitful. I'm never deceived in such matters. My first impressions of people are invariably right. It seems to me, Miss Fairfax, that I am trespassing on your valuable time. No doubt you have many other calls of a similar character to make in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. 